Good morning, everybody, and welcome to The Balancing Act. We are so glad you joined us this morning. I'm Julie Moran. And I'm Olga Viaverde. Even for the insured health care, you know, the costs are high yeah. no matter what. And worse, they're unpredictable. Until now, we are taking a look, and this is really unique, at the first online consumer health pricing source. So it's kind of like, Julie, the right doctor at the right price, and it's free. That's the best part. There's the twist. <laughs> We're going to explain. The Balancing Act starts right now. Few things in life are more satisfying than shopping around and getting a great deal. We compare prices for cars and clothes and just about everything. So why not for healthcare services? That's what Patty Everett asked herself after her husband suffered a catastrophic injury while they were between healthcare plans. And the result of that life-changing experience is a brand new way to do healthcare. Patty Everett, CEO of Health Pines, I just want to thank you for joining us today. I'm so glad you're here to share your story. Thank you so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. You know, and it. we have so much to get to, but really I, I have to start with what happened to your husband. Well, he fell two stories and he broke his neck. And when I took him to the hospital, because we didn't have an insurance policy in force, they told me I needed to take him home because it wasn't life-threatening he could breathe. However, if one of the children jumped up and hugged him, he could be a quadriplegic. So I had to go to the bank and drain $50,000 out to get him in the hospital and get the surgery done. So we exhausted all of our savings and, and my inheritance and all the money he had from his business to get him taken care of. Wow, that, that's, a, and how much in total did you spend? On we spent a little over half a million in the first six months. That is just devastating. It is, it is devastating. And, and, and you, you came to some important realizations then about the healthcare system and the way it's working. Tell me about that. I did. I learned that there was nowhere to get a cash price. If you're paying cash, why can't you have the same price as an insurance company? There was no option to compare prices between different surgeons or hospitals. And so we were stuck. And that got me to thinking, why can't we get a discount? Why can't we shop if we're paying cash? Why shouldn't we have the best price? So am I right in assuming that our healthcare providers aren't mandated to post the price of their services? Well, that's absolutely correct, Julie, until the Affordable Care Act changed that. Now they are required to post the prices in somewhere reasonably for people to be able to see them. But there's no format for it. There's no instructions. There were no guidelines given with that. So what we did is we looked at the Affordable Care Act and said, how can we bring pricing transparency to the market? And how can we get doctors to help us get a price that's lower? So that's where Health Ponds comes in. Tell us exactly what Health Ponds is. Health Ponds is the very first first portal for healthcare shopping. You get to choose by city, state, zip, by doctor, by specialty, or symptom if you don't know where to go. You can go on and be a consumer of healthcare, get real-time pricing. You, you see the prices that are available today. So if you need something done, you need an MRI, you need to see a primary care doctor, an orthopedic, a neurosurgeon, you can see the prices for their services. It sounds like a true breakthrough for consumers. So if you want to start saving on your health care, stick with us because Patty's going to tell us exactly how Health Funds works right after the break. Welcome back to The Balancing Act. Before the break, my guest Patty Everett was sharing her personal story about the staggering cost of health care and about a possible solution called Health Ponds. All right, Patty, what exactly is Health Ponds? You told us, but how does it work? That's what I want to know. Health Ponds works by going to our website and finding the right doctor and the right price. You simply input whatever you need to know, whether it's by symptom, specialty, city, state, or zip. Now, some people think it's only for people without insurance, but it's not so. It's for people with insurance as well. You know, deductibles are getting higher now. And we know that statistically, $2,500 deductible, only 11% of the people with that will ever reach it. Mm. And then if it gets higher, like the new plans, $5,000 deductibles, only 4%. So that means 96% of those people are self-insured. So if you had a choice and you could pay 
$1,200 or $600 for a service, which would you choose? I'm going with six. Okay, well then you come to Health Bonds. <laughs> Perfect. I honestly think a lot of people are still confused about terms like co-payment, co-insurance. Could you refresh people's you know, memories about what those terms really mean? The most important thing to remember is your co-payment is that amount of money that you give the doctor when you check in. Sometimes they ask you for the $25, $35, $55 dollar co-payment. The deductible is the amount that you have to pay before your insurance company starts paying. This is where everyone gets confused. Co-insurance. It is different than co-deductible. Your co-insurance is that amount that you pay after the bill has been submitted and they determine how much is owed. Your policy will dictate how much you pay of that bill. 20%, 30%, 40%. And you pay that after you've paid all of your deductible. So I find it really interesting that there are millions of insured people who are still basically paying for everything out of pocket. I want you to give us an example of how health funds prices can help those people and others. Well, for example, if you need an MRI, very often you will get a bill for around $7,000. I had one in January and it was $7,226. Then I got a bill, my co-insurance, for $1,200. Now, if I had gone to health funds, I would have paid $695. What other options can consumers choose on health ponds besides price? They can choose to find a doctor by his specialty. They can look at his education. And most important, the quality of his care. So we evaluated doctors based on what his patients say, not some random opinion on the internet, mm -hmm. but what his patients say about him. We look at his education. Does he have a medical degree from Harvard or is it from a foreign country? What hospitals are they associated with? So you can learn much about your doctor before you go see him. And then what about emergency care? Emergency care is not included in health bonds, but we do have urgent care facilities. So they can find those for the things that are non-life-threatening. Now what we do have are hospitals that are starting to get on board with us and post their pricing. And because of that, we decided to bring something to the consumers that we know they need. Those high deductibles, even if you do get a good price, sometimes you can't afford it. So we have a patient financing program available to all our hospitals in our network and all the providers associated with them. And it's 0% financing, no interest, up to 72 months. That can help a lot of people, really. And there's another convenient feature on Health Funds that will make a patient's digital medical records available. Tell us about that. Absolutely. You can go to Health Ponds and you can store your medical records there and your medical history. And when you're traveling, if you're skiing in Colorado, rock climbing in Arizona, <laughs> or jet skiing around the world, you can go online and see all of your medical information and share it with any provider you choose. Where can people find out more about Health Ponds? Come to our website, healthponds.net. So it's one-stop healthcare. Sounds like an idea whose time has come. Patty, such great information. I want to really thank you for being in the studio with us. Thank you so much and for having me And thanks for sharing here. your story and your husband's story. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I'm sure you can't wait to start saving on your healthcare. So head over to thebalancingact.com to get started. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. It's everyday gourmet time. Who doesn't love ramen noodles? And there are so many ways you can use them. Here are just a few ideas on how you can kick your ramen noodles up a notch. Kids, we're having yakisoba noodles for dinner tonight. Can you use them to make macaroni and cheese? Sure. Yakisoba noodles are delicious straight out of the package. Plus, they're affordable and wholesome. And you can use them in other ways too. On tonight's menu, macaroni and cheese. Let's start with the four cheese flavored noodles. Using your flavor packets according to instructions, microwave your entrees for four minutes. Oh, Mario, can you get whatever kind of cheese you guys are in the mood for? An assortment would be nice. Oh, and get the chives too. When all of your bowls are cooked, spread the noodles evenly in a deep dish casserole. Top with the cheeses and diced chives. Now bake it until the top becomes golden. Delicious. No time to bake? Next time, add the cheeses directly to the bowls. Bon appetit. Here's an idea for another day using sweet and sour chicken flavored noodles. Cook the noodles according to instructions. Mm -hmm. 
as the noodles cook, saute some chopped onions and green peppers in a frying pan. You can save time by buying them pre-cut in the produce section of your supermarket. Cut up frozen chicken breast nuggets, place them in the microwave, and cook according to instructions. Mix the cooked chicken into the pan and add a little soy sauce to taste. Add the stir-fry noodles and toss. Dinner's ready. Wow, after watching that, I can think of all kinds of recipes my family would love. You probably can too. Head to marishawn.com for more great ideas and you can find Marishawn ramen noodles in the soup aisle of your local supermarket. Don't forget to check out our website, thebalancingact.com. Nobody wants to think about being in an accident, but accidents happen every day. That's why they're called accidents. They can leave you feeling stressed and overwhelmed or worse, injured. This is where a personal injury attorney can really help. With medical bills piling up, insurance companies would rather settle quickly, but this might not be in your best interest, especially if the extent of the injuries aren't yet known. And here to sort through it all for us is Eric Jensen, an injury helpline attorney and VP of marketing for R.W. Lynch, Anush Alexander. It's great to have you guys in studio Thank today. You. Thank you. Anush, I want to turn to you first. What is the injury helpline and how did it all get started? Sure. Um, R.W. Lynch is actually our parent company, okay. um, and R.W. Lynch and Injury Helpline were started over. 30 years ago by Randy Lynch. Um, we work with hundreds of personal injury attorneys across the country in every state and every local market. The premise behind the injury helpline was um, that our founder was really uh, felt compelled to kind of balance the scales, if you will, in favor of the injured victim in accidents. We really wanted to have um, a service that helped educate uh, the populace on their rights as it relates to personal injury and help them get connected to a personal injury attorney as soon as possible. Um, he felt that you know the insurance companies have hundreds of attorneys working for them but the average consumer not only doesn't know an attorney but doesn't know that they have the ability to actually um, to get compensation and to negotiate that. To date we've connected nearly four million injured victims with attorneys uh, nationwide. Uh, our attorney has been able to help them get uh, the compensation they need and the answers they need at a really rough time in their lives. So good to know because, you know, the injured sometimes feel helpless or alone out there. And, and Eric, what are some of the myths? Because there are myths surrounding personal injury attorneys. Sure. The myth everyone's heard is that personal injury attorneys are ambulance chasers. And the reality is the lawyers at my firm and most of the lawyers that I know in personal injury are dedicated professionals. We make time to educate our clients about their rights. We make sure that they're not being taken advantage of by insurance companies and we genuinely care about getting the right results for the individuals and the families we represent. That's so important. And Anish, does reviewing with an attorney first really help the chances of being compensated? Absolutely. Like I mentioned, uh, the insurance companies have hundreds of, of attorneys working for them, and their ultimate goal is to advocate on behalf of their company. Uh, they have shareholders that they've got to get profits for. They've got executives that expect that from them. Um, but a personal injury attorney is going to be there to ensure that your um, rights are being advocated for and that you're going to get the best compensation that you can. They'll help you navigate issues you might not have considered, like long-term health care costs or perhaps lost wages due to not being able to work. Eric, can you give us an example of, of a successful outcome as far as you know some, some case that you know of or maybe have been involved with? Yes. Woman called me. It was a Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. Her father was walking home from the grocery store on the sidewalk, and a young lady who had been out drinking and partying the night before was still drunk and hit him and killed him at the scene. Gosh. She had no insurance. She had no assets to collect against, and they had no idea what to do. He had a funeral to pay for, he has children, they were lost. So when they came to me, I told them that the law in Georgia, where this happened, is that they could use the insurance from any vehicles in his household that were owned by resident relatives. So I pointed them in the right direction, they were able to get that money and use it to pay for his funeral expenses and to give to his children, and I actually didn't take that case, I didn't take a fee, I just let them know what their rights were. Wait a minute. God bless you for that. That's so cool. But they would have not, or this daughter, would she, without you, she wouldn't have known where to go, how to get compensated, or what to do. I mean, I'm not making right. too much of that. That's true, right? That's true. Anush, I really, how does the injury helpline help people, and we heard this story, but how does it really help people who have been injured? 
You know, Eric actually brings up a really good point when he talks about the laws in Georgia. You know, every state is very different. Mm -hmm. And what most people don't realize is that you have a very limited time to be able to file a claim after an accident. And depending on the type of the accident and the, and the state that you're in, that will differ. Um, so, the, so the most important thing that you can do after an accident is get with an attorney as soon as possible. The Injury Helpline is a completely free service. We at the Injury Helpline have done all of the homework for you. All of our attorneys are in good standing with the bar. They will take uh, the case on a contingency basis, which means no upfront fees, no hourly costs, nothing until that case has come to resolution for you. Wow. Eric, um, personal injury law seems complicated sometimes. Why is that? personal injury laws in states vary significantly. Mm -hmm. My firm has handled cases in about 20 states, and this is a no mistake business. If you make a mistake early on in, this, in a case while you're trying to handle it yourself, it can ruin the entire case. Wow. It's very important to get in touch with somebody that knows what the law is, can evaluate a case, and help you get fair compensation. I'm glad to know, I'm, I'm sure our viewers are glad to know about the Injury Helpline. I love that it's free. That's so cool and wonderful. <laughs> Thank you both for being in studio today. It's just such great information. Thank you so Thank much. You. I really appreciate it. All right, you want to know more, log on to thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook as well, and we want you to share your stories with us. So much great information on today's show. Be sure to check out our website, thebalancingact.com. There's lots more for you there. And don't forget about Facebook and Twitter. We want you to look us up, and we'll see you again very soon. And remember, ladies and guys out there, find your balance. <laughs> so long.